organizations need to have their data secure and isolated, due to which they want their applications to be deployed either on premise, on public cloud, or in their private cloud. Vidismo can be installed in either location, depending upon the requirements of the enterprise. On premise, public cloud or private cloud deployment is best for organizations with dynamic or unpredictable computing needs that demand direct authority and control over their environments, typically to meet security, business governance, or regulatory compliance requirements. Let's look at installing Vidismo application on premise, on public cloud, or on private cloud environment. Before you start, please make sure you complete all the prerequisites provided by the Vidismo support team. The link to the prerequisites is stated on the screen. Once you're done setting up prerequisites and considerations to install the Vidismo application, install the SQL Server from the installation wizard. Following this installation wizard, you need to select the database engine services, full text and semantic extractions for search and SQL client connectivity SDK. A separate application server is required as a prerequisite to set up the Vidismo application for on-premise, public, or private cloud deployment. This server will be used to install the Vidismo application. Vidismo support team shall provide the zip file that contains all application server setup files. The zip file needs to be unblocked before extracting all containing files. To unblock the zip file, right-click on the file and select Properties. From the General tab, check the Unblock option and click on Apply. Once you are done, click on OK to continue. You need to extract the zip file that contains all application server setup files. Copy the Vidismo folder from the extracted files to the C drive. Once you're done setting up the application server, you need to import the database registry in the application server to connect the application to the database server. To proceed with it, the Vidismo support team will provide you with two registry files, tailored to your specific OS needs. You need to modify files as needed. This would establish a connection between the application and database servers. Depending on your Vidismo web server type, you need to select the licensing server link based on HTTP or HTTPS. The connection strings required in the registries are stated on the screen. To update connection strings in the registry file, right-click and edit registry file in Notepad to make necessary changes. Replace all data source parameters with the SQL Server's DNS name or the private IP of the SQL Server. Now you need to replace all user ID parameters with the username of SQL Server Admin Account and password parameters with the password of the SQL Server Admin Account. Open the Registry Editor by navigating to Start Menu and selecting RegEdit. Click on the File tab, select Import and browse to the location where the edited files have been saved and select both registries. A prompt would be generated saying, Keys successfully added. You need to restore databases via SQL Server Management Studio to be used with Vidismo application. Use the database backup files that Vidismo support team shall provide for restoration. The file names are stated on the screen. Vidismo application uses four services that are caching, notification, scheduler, and workflow. Caching service is used to manage the application's memcache for faster streaming and lower latency. Notification service is used to ping the database for any changes that lead to an email alert generation. Scheduler service is used to manage various clock-sensitive processes by refreshing the fetched results like analytics, reports, content purge. Workflow service is used to manage various time-consuming processes by breaking them down into activities and managing them separately for a better track of progress. Now, you need to install these services on your application server. 
To install these services please make sure you have the latest .NET framework installed by navigating to your C drive, selecting framework from Microsoft.NET, and check for the latest version. Navigate to Start menu and type CMD and run command prompt as administrator. Type the command stated on the screen to change directory to the service folder where the .exe file of your service is found. Once the directory has been changed in the command prompt, write the command stated on the screen to install service, where service name is the name of the .exe file that resides within the service folder. In the case of the memcached service, please make sure you install vidismo caching exe rather than memcached.exe. This process will be followed by a login prompt to verify that you have the required permissions to make these changes. Here, you need to enter user account credentials that will be used to run background Vidismo services. Vidismo recommends creating a new dedicated service user account, belonging to the administrator's group with administrative access on the local server. Your service has been installed successfully over command prompt. Now you need to verify that Vidismo caching service was installed, by going to services from the start menu. To check that, repeat the above process for all four services with the commands stated on the screen. Once you're done installing scheduler service, you need to change some additional settings to enable the scheduler service to restart, which in turn restarts all other services such as caching, notifications, and workflows. Right-click on Vidismo scheduler service, select properties and go to recovery tab and set the following recovery settings shown on the screen. Once you're done, check the installed services by navigating to start menu and selecting services. Now, you need to create an application site and your IIS server to help you successfully browse and use the web application. Open Server Manager by clicking on the Server Manager button on the Windows taskbar. On Server Manager, click on Tools and then click on Internet Information Services IIS to open the IIS Manager. Expand your server to view pools and sites and expand sites to view all sites within. Right-click on the default website and select Remove to free up the port 80. Now, right-click on Sites and select Add Website from the Context menu. In the resulting screen, enter a suitable name for your site such as Vidismo. By default, an application pool of the same name will be created and associated with the site. Under the Content Directory tab, Add the local folder location of the web application as the physical path that is stated on the screen. Provide credentials for IIS to be able to access the given directory path. Test and verify credentials. Now choose type as HTTP or HTTPS as per your deployment and leave IP addresses all unassigned. Enter port number as needed such as 80 or 8080. By the way, the default port is 80. Leave hostname as blank to resolve the site on the hostname of your server and click OK to create the website. After setting up your application, when you browse it for the first time, you will land onto the activation page where you may activate your product package by entering the license key or uploading the license file provided to you by Vidismo support team. Well, that's all for this video. Check out some of our other guides to learn more about Vidismo. Stay tuned until next time.